What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Owl of Armor DLC video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Pokemon following you. Yes, we know. We know how to do it. We know how to get Pokemon to follow you. It's just very easy. Inside of the Out of Armor DLC, in the dojo, you get challenges. You complete three of those challenges. You get yourself Kung Fu and also the ability to Pokemon to follow you. Now granted, uh, there's a lot of cool Pokemon that be following you. And yes, I will be doing a video on that. And as you can see, you can get Pokemon to follow you in the wild. If you haven't seen it, here's how it looks. Basically, Kung Fu is following me. And I also want to showcase this just to show you that you can indeed turn this feature off. It's not in the menus or anywhere. You actually have to go back inside of the dojo, inside of the Aleph armor, make your way to the kitchen of the dojo of the Aleph armor, and there's going to be an NPC down here waiting for you with the Pikachu costume with a Pikachu outside of Pokeball. Talk to them. It's going to say, do you like taking your Pokemon for a stroll? You can say yes, but if you say no, it says, all right, inside the ball, it is, and then, and then you decided to keep your Pokemon in its ball as you walk around and then that's it when you go back outside you're going to notice that the pokemon first at your party with this brand new feature is now inside of your pokeball it's basically a way to turn it off it's kind of weird that there's no way to turn it off from the menu kind of like how it was inside of pokemon let's go pikachu let's go eevee that there was a way to i believe there was a way to just turn off pokemon following you entirely from the menu, you couldn't stop Pikachu from being on your shoulder or your head, depending on which version you have with the Eevee or the Pikachu. But again, this is kind of telling that the Pokemon company or Game Freak actually knew that some players were going to enjoy Pokemon following you, but that some players might have thought of it as a, you know, distracting. The fact that some Pokemon are very slow, they don't keep up with you, and it, it kind of doesn't feel super baked in like how it was with um, Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, where every Pokemon followed you and looked dope inside, outside of places, and all the roots and everything. And the Isle of Armor, it kind of just tacked on to this wild area of the Isle of Armor. You cannot bring them into the base game. You can't walk into anywhere outside of the Isle of Armor with your Pokemon following you. And it's kind of weird. I believe, again, even in the Isle of Armor, and like like inside of the dojo, Kung Fu should be following you too. Like, I, I don't understand this certain limitations on roots inside of the main games as well, that the Pokemon are not following you. It's just, to me, it's a bummer. They should have made it across the board, just like a patch or whatever, to the base game of Pokemon Sword and Shield. And they didn't. For whatever reason, it's just tied to this section in the Isle of Armor. And then again, you need to unlock it. And I think that's the reason why they didn't basically highlight this as a brand new feature. And again, if you want to bring the Pokemon back out after you decided to keep it in the Pokemon, you can just talk to them again and say yes. And it says you have decided to have your lead Pokemon walk around with you on the Isle of Armor. Again, they say the Isle of Armor, so it's very clear that you cannot do this everywhere inside of the pokemon sword and shield games but it's still weird to me that there is this limitation and maybe i'm the only one but let me know in the comment section below how do you feel about this feature i think it's super half-baked while i do like pokemon following behind you the fact that there is a way to turn it off tells me that the pokemon company or game freak or anybody that was working on this feature kind of knew that they needed to implement a way to turn it off and it's kind of weird that it isn't just like in the menu, drop menu somewhere or in the settings. That they added a whole NPC character to basically do something that was so simple just by turning off uh, Pokemon following you. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below. Like always, I answer all comments. So again, let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. I do videos like this all the time. Pokemon discussion videos, let's plays, whatever I feel like doing. I drop it here on the channel. If you enjoy the vibe, again, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video and to recommend it so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. And woo! Such a missed opportunity. Such a miss. I love this game. I love Pokemon following you. 
But I, I just, it just, it's a missed opportunity for me. I, I wish they, I wish they did it way better than what we got now. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all. All of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and i love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest i am a variety channel i do tons of stuff tons of pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one